just to say, is there a number at which... I can be bought. <laughs> That's what it's about. You can take a pause for a couple of years. No. And then go right back to what you're doing. Mm -mm. No. 10 million, 20 million, 30, no, no, no. A billion, no. This is not about money. This is about our country. And now for our next news special report. Welcome to tonight's special report. In a stunning political development, we uncover the downfall of Arizona GOP Chairman Jeff DeWitt. What started as a shocking scandal of alleged bribery has culminated in a resignation that rattles the Republican Party. DeWitt, embroiled in a controversy over leaked audio suggesting an attempt to bribe Kerry Lake out of the Senate race, has stepped down amidst increasing pressure. The story isn't just a chapter of political intrigue, it's a testament to the ongoing battle for integrity within our party. As we navigate through this sensational turn of events, we're forced to confront the reality of power plays overshadowing principles. So stay tuned for an eye-opening journey into the heart of this scandal and our critical final thought. Before we delve into this political whirlwind, let's take a moment as Kerry Lake battles against the corrupt establishment. Reflected in our story, we too grapple with challenges like aging. But here is a sincere offer, not a bribe. Our sponsor, a leader in anti-aging, presents a unique collagen product. It's a step towards maintaining youthfulness, akin to preserving integrity in our political landscape. Avail a 53% discount exclusively for our viewers at healthwithgary.com. The link's in the description, so make sure you seize this opportunity. Now, today's political saga transcends mere controversy. It's a stark delineation of right and wrong. It's a story of Jeff DeWitt's fall from grace, a tale marred by allegations of bribery and a consequential resignation shaking the Republican Party's core. The plot thickened when Kerry Lake at CPAC revealed a shocking proposition made to her, one that contradicts our party's values. So let's set the stage with this. Somebody showed up at my door this week. They called me before and said, I got to talk to you in person. This can't be done over the phone, which is always kind of like, uh-oh, what's that going to be about? They came to my door and they tried to bribe me out of getting out of politics. This really happened. I'm telling you this because this is how disgusting politics is. A mom who runs for office and they're afraid of me, they tried to bribe me with a job title, with a huge salary, a position on a board. This is how they do it. And I said, are you kidding me? I walked away from a big job and a big salary. I'm not motivated by that stuff, guys. I'm not. So this person standing before me was sent at the request of some powerful people back east. They want me out of politics. But wait a minute. I thought they already stopped us. Why are they so afraid? I thought they already stopped our movement. So, so. Well. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just on God's time right now. And as you've just seen, Lake spoke of being offered a bribe to step out of politics. The sheer audacity of such an offer is chilling. But what's more inspiring is Lake's staunch refusal. Here's a woman who understands the value of service, of commitment to the country and to Arizona. She didn't just reject the offer, she exposed it for what it was, a clear-cut case of corruption and insult to the very principles we hold dear. Now let's delve into the heart of the scandal. The secret recording that sent shockwaves through our party, a recording that captures Arizona GOP Chairman Jeff DeWitt in a moment he probably wishes he could take back. But the truth, like sunlight, has a way of finding the darkest of corners. And in this recording, we find DeWitt not just suggesting, but actively trying to bribe Lake with a high-paying job to sideline her to keep her away from serving the state and the nation. Watch. Is there a number at which... I can be bought. <laughs> Not be bought. That's what it's about. You can take a pause for a couple of years. No. And then go right back to what you're doing. Mm -mm. No. 10 million, 20 million, 30... No, no, no. A billion, no. This is not about money. This is about our country. I think it's disturbing that they would even 
that anybody would think this is. I, I, no, to be fair, even me, even me, I'll say this. I want a fresh face right now for the reason that I've never seen anyone. I can't think of a single person in a federal race who's lost, ran in and won. I can't think of it. If you can think of it, let me know. I am not going to let these people who hate our country tell me not to run. You should call them and tell them to get behind me. So what's going on? What is, uh, I'm assuming this is our friend. Uh, this is, this is, this is back east. They, there are very powerful people that want to keep you out. I know when they do. But they're willing to put their money where their mouth is in a big way. So this conversation never happened. Th this is crazy though. They should want me. I'm a great candidate. People love me. These people are corrupt. Well, maybe you're right. They are right. They are corrupt. Maybe. This is a wrap. Don't, don't go. Do you though? I don't get myself in trouble. This, if you, if you, if you say no, which is fine. It's your choice. Don't tell people. I know. They're going to have try to have me murdered. I don't doubt world, man. If that stuff that came out last week is right about the cartel stuff, man. I hear the car, they say the cartel's operating in 50 states right now. Like all 50, you mm -hmm. know? So. So what, what, what's going on? Who is it? What? Forget the who. Let me just tell you the what. Let's just say there are people calling around. Saying, gosh, no, they can't repeat this. Never repeat this. If you say no, don't. Because they say, I got offered to buy out. Don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't use it. Because then we lose our ability to get things done other, in the future. Here's this, my problem. Rather than just say, let's work with her. She's a great candidate. Because they don't own me. And it pisses me off. Yeah, it's not it's about ownership. It's about control. I don't know if it's about control. It's about being on the team. I guess that's it. You know what I mean? They want to be on the team. They want you to be on their team. But just team. You know? But if they're pushing a globalist agenda, I can't do that. So what do they want? What do they want me to do? You want me to stay opportunities. <laughs> but, let me tell you what I can offer you. But, um, I said, you can do whatever she wants, talking head, this and that. So, the, the ask of me was, it's kind of funny. So the, the ask I got today from back east was, this is, has to stay is there any companies out there or something that could just put her on the payroll and give her to keep her out? And I said, well, what are you willing to do? Like, whatever we need to do. This is about defeating Trump. And I think that's a bad, bad thing for our country. DeSantis is not America first. This is about the final death blow to Trump. And I don't think that's good for our country. I, mean, you know, I love Trump. I mean, I love Trump. It's not good for our country, Jeff. It's not, but at the same time, I'm not even sure Trump can win again. I don't know that he can win again. I think what it really comes down to for a lot of people, it's not really about like control or agenda, it's just about the ability to raise money to win. You know? If you really want to know, all of both those politics balls on the money, I think. Mm -hmm. that was really and even on their end, like what makes them the most money? I know. These, all these consultants don't want their, their payday to end. And I don't want to make a deal with these kind of people. This is a hill worth dying on. I am she not, if they're going to steal the election to make me and our, our movement go away, I'm not letting them do that. I owe it to the people of Arizona. Or. To carry their torch and their voice. Or. You don't go away. But you pause. This is the battles right now, Jeff. And we fill your coffers. No, the battle is right now. The battle is right now, and um, we don't have time to, to pause on this battlefield. You're not. You, what you can't scratch their back. It's not afraid of you. Yeah. You don't have anything to offer them, and they're sitting around people that have stuff to offer them. You know what I mean? It's just it's. It, it's a it's a back scratching club. That's all DC is. It's a big mm -hmm. back scratching club. You're in no you're in no position to scratch anybody's back, and you've already made it known that if you get there, you're not going to scratch anybody's back. I don't scratch people's back. You know, I was I've been on the outs for a lot of people for a long time. I don't scratch backs. Mm -hmm. You know, where are we in two years? 
if they steal the election again. Listen to what you're saying. Why don't we do something about it? What? So that we the people can pick our... What can we do? I'm not willing to accept that. Then I'm going to be the biggest pain in these people's... Go back and tell them that. Mm -hmm. I'm running, and I'm going to be the biggest pain in their... I, and I'm willing to tell them that. And they're going to have to kill me. To stop me. No, I know, I know. Look. And, and you don't have to tell What you've just witnessed is not just disturbing. It's a betrayal of everything we stand for. The suggestion that someone could be paid off to abandon their political aspirations to turning their back on their calling to serve is antithetical to the process. It's a slap in the face to every voter, every American who believes in the sanctity of our electoral system. Lake's response, however, is what sets her apart. She doesn't just refuse. She does so with the kind of conviction that makes you proud to be a part of our great republic. In her words, I want to serve my country and my state, resonate with a profound truth. This isn't about money. This is about principles. It's about fighting for what's right. And then comes the climax of the saga, the moment when Kerry Lake, having been subjected to such a shameful proposition, stands up and demands accountability. She calls for the resignation of Jeff DeWitt. This isn't just a mere political maneuver. This is a demand for justice, for integrity in our political system. Watch. Do you urge Jeff DeWitt to resign from his post? He's got to resign. We can't have somebody who's corrupt and compromised running the Republican Party. I want corruption rooted out of our government. I don't care if it's on the Democrat side or the Republican side. We are going to root out corruption, and that's why the people love this man that's about to take the stage. Because he can't be corrupted, he can't be blackmailed, he can't be bribed, and he's going to root out the corruption in the swamp and give the government back to the people. Arizona's a key state this November. Is there somebody who you think should take on the chairman role? I haven't given it a lot of thought. What I want to do is make sure that we get the corrupt people out, and that's the critical part. As you've seen, Lake's demand for DeWitt's resignation is more than justified. It's a clarion call for those who value honesty and integrity in politics. We can't have someone who's corrupt and compromised running the Republican Party, she says. And she's right. If we're to stand for anything, it must be for the eradication of corruption, regardless of which side it comes from. In response, DeWitt released a statement addressing his resignation. He claimed that the tape was selectively edited and used deceptively, suggesting Lake had been complicit in the setup to gain control of the state party. Despite regretting his words, DeWitt insinuated that the recording was part of a larger scheme by Lake, whom he had previously employed, asserting that he was trapped in a narrative spun against him. DeWitt's departure was framed as an ultimate move in a complex political chess game. But let's not forget the broader picture here. This isn't just about one corrupt official or one brave woman standing up against the system. This is about the future of our party, our republic. With Trump 2024 on the horizon and picking up steam, the stakes couldn't be higher. We need leaders who are not just competent but morally sound, leaders who understand that their actions have consequences, leaders who respect the will of the people more than the allure of power and money. So Lake's stance against this corruption is a beacon of hope. It's a reminder that there are still people in politics who are willing to stand up for what's right, to fight against the tide of corruption that threatens to engulf us. She's not just fighting for a Senate seat, She's fighting for the soul of our party and for the integrity of our political system. As we reflect on the story, let's not forget or lose sight of the bigger picture. The future of our party, our nation, depends on our ability to root out corruption, to uphold the principles of our, of our republic. We must demand better from our leaders, and we must be willing to hold them accountable when they fall short. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. Our final thought is next. Tonight's special report has laid bare a truth that many have long suspected. The D.C. swamp runs disturbingly deep. We've just witnessed the murky and dirty games played in the corridors of power in Washington, D.C. games where integrity is often sacrificed for political gains. The resignation of Jeff DeWitt marks the fall of one such swamp creature, a significant blow to those who manipulate from the shadows of their agendas. Now, Carrie Lake's resolve to stand against such corruption shines as a beacon of hope. Her refusal to succumb to the devious tactics of political maneuvering not only reinforces her strength, but also highlights what true leadership looks like in the face of adversity. As we close this chapter, a compelling question arises. Would Carrie Lake, with her unwavering stand against the swamp's corruption, make an ideal vice presidential choice for Trump in 2024? What are your thoughts on this possibility? Could Lake be the ally that Trump needs to continue the fight against the deep-rooted corruption in our government? 
Your opinions matter in this crucial conversation about the future of our nation, so leave them down below. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.